You can kiss yourself. You can go ahead. It's fine now. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Mandel. And uh, I'm happy to see Deshmukhji is also there. And uh, I'm grateful that uh, Guru Raj has organized this whole thing. Uh, it's a great job. And uh, wearing people is definitely a bigger task and better task. It's a pro public health uh, action. Uh, everybody can see my slides. Yes, yes sir. Please go ahead. Okay, okay. So you can uh, ask question in, in the end. Uh, I'll go in a flow and try to uh, finish my slides as fast as possible and will be available for question answer. There are three questions already there. So uh, it's a very difficult uh, area and very difficult area to, uh, to teach and to introduce and also to handle. Uh, but we have to talk because uh, it is really creating problem in the country and the world. Uh, just look at it that uh, we have a uh, large number of uh, different class and uh, creed of the young and youth which are falling prey to uh, addiction. And uh, unfortunately, some of the state which are very rich uh, as far as the GDP is concerned or the you know, the wealth is concerned, that is also in crypt uh, or say the, you know, that is trapped into the problem of uh, drug in youth. So uh, we all know which state I'm talking about. Uh, on on uh, Western side, we have Punjab and on Eastern side, we have uh, Manipur. <clears throat> now, in between the two states, you have large number of other uh, you know, states which have different uh, types of the problems. Uh, in Delhi, we have large, we have different class. I have already said that uh, uh, all, you know, different class of uh, people, particularly the youth, adults and uh, have their groups and uh, they have different methods of taking uh, drugs. But uh, uh, I, I'm using this drug may not be truly applying to uh, some of the substance uh, which is not coming under drugs but i'm using it uh, but i have uh, you know captioned it as a real happiness or fake friendship this friendship word is very important you know uh, we must understand the concept of sangha the sangha is you know companionship you are having people with you that is why in all religion they have tried to tell that what is the importance of good friends and I'm giving you to down. I think they are not the good friend. That is why I've said the fake uh, friendship. Now these are the number of drugs which are used in different forms and, and they are available throughout the world. Some of the drugs are not there in India, but uh, you can see that uh, huge number and they are uh, depressant, they are uh, hallucinogens, they are uh, psychoactive drugs, they are you know, producing a kind of uh, a dissociative anesthesia. So you have number and uh, very interesting one. And the central nervous system depressants are commonly used. We are now trying to have one thesis. Uh, the, my One of the students is doing, uh, you know, depressant um, addiction in elderly. Definitely we have done many studies in uh, younger population also and we found quite number are taking it particularly some of the, you know, acceptable uh, drugs. Cocaine, uh, DMT and GB, uh, GHB, these are uh, drugs which are actually commonly not available. And that is why they are in the black market. And uh, people who, are, who come into the, you know, this uh, world, they know what is black world and black market and underworld and uh, uh, they are aware of uh, what different kinds of drugs are available with different cost and the methods by which you can procure uh, that's a different world altogether now you are understanding what is happening 
Bollywood. Uh, this is what uh, is actually going on in major, major cities. So we have uh, like the inhalant and uh, heroin and hallucinations are there. The cut is, you know, even plants, the people are using the plants and flowers uh, for psycho psychoactive uh, uh, effects. We have Crotum, that is a tree, which is actually used as a psychoactive mind altering opium. LSD is common, uh, marijuana and cannabis in our country use as a bhang. You know, it's also, uh, you know, common in India. We have uh, Actacy, Molly, that is MDMA, uh, muscaline and, uh, you know, methamphetamine. Amphetamine, uh, different groups are available. Dexometer, uh, Mytho methorphine that is uh, you know uh, abused in many uh, part of the country in the form of the you know cough syrup and lepromide uh, is also used uh, in some areas but inhalants are common in younger population and uh, some of the you know the, these depressant drugs and steroid is another one which are now uh, becoming common in the people who want to make the muscle but I have highlighted here the alcohol and nicotine, and that is the tobacco, which is the you know gateway. I uh, will say the gateway of these all drugs. On one side I have put it alcohol, other side I have put it tobacco. These are the commonly available you know substances which are very addictive, particularly tobacco, nicotine, and leading to different uh, you know scenario of the life if you just fall into prey. These are emerging trends, and we have already mentioned some of them, which were previously used quite common. But nowadays, we have the you know salt, uh, the bath salt, inhalants, and spice, steroids, crocodile. These are the substances which are you know available in the market, uh, underworld market, and and you can uh, see these people. You know, I, I'll tell you that how you can identify some of the people uh, with the symptoms. But uh, uh, this is uh, a very, very serious issue because I've seen patients and I've seen the families. Uh, some of the myths which need to be understood by our student teachers and our parents. <clears throat> there are myths and the myths are, you know, uh, leading to some uh, misconclusion and leading to a problem like the drug addiction is a choice. Some people feel that if I'm taking marijuana or say smoking, it's my choice. Why you are, and that is why in the country, you know, alcohol is not banned and the tobacco is also not banned. It is actually banned in the public places, something like that. It is actually, you know, forcing uh, to think that this is choice of a person. You know, if a person want to use it, why not? So that is actually wrong uh, concept and, and a myth that this is a personal choice. The person never use it in isolation. He he always company with. Then uh, substance use just a phase during adolescence. This is also wrong. You know it is not true. You know once yes this is the beginning of the you know drug addiction in adolescence. But they reach to adult adulthood and you know they suffer and and their adult life become very miserable. Then marijuana is safer than the traditional tobacco product that is also wrong and and you will find huge literature literature on the website <coughs> which is uh, trying to say that marijuana is a uh, safer and better and you know and that uh, that make the youngster to believe and uh, and they fall prey to this marijuana our teenagers are drinking alcohol and doing uh, drugs uh, more often, you know, as ever. That is, uh, may not be true. It's not, say, myth only. Uh, it is not increasing. We used to have in previous, you know, years also and now also and going to be more till we have very good, uh, you know, society. And that is why uh, all of us has to, uh, you know, look at it, how we can make the society much better. The fact is that illicit drugs use among Teenagers are remain very high and largely uh, increasing the popularity because of the easy availability. And uh, these rising substances reflect uh, uh, 
changing perceptions and attitude of the you know and uh, our younger population they feel that what is wrong in doing it you know we also have the life and this all non medical use of prescription are becoming you know uh, or over the counter medicines a significant part of the you know teenage drug uh, problem so uh, that's a problem you know on the counter in india because everybody can go to the counter and purchase whatever they want uh, that should not be the case as uh, you know uh, in case of the drug some of the drugs which are used for medicine a uh, medical purpose but they are very uh, dangerous if you are used in high proportion then fewer teenagers smoke a cigarette than the smoke marijuana that's uh, actually uh, truth and uh, that say problem today that marijuana is increasing day by day other uh, form of tobacco is now becoming popular and you are seeing the bar and you know uh, small markets are coming up they are uh, providing you the water pipes and hookahs and e cigarettes and small cigars so that become fashion so that is now uh, a problem you know that's a truth about the youngsters tobacco i i'll tell you that this is the biggest uh, you know substance uh, causing which is uh, taken as uh, uh, addictive substance in the world and the you know the biggest i i said the word biggest because the people feel that this is a part of the culture and society and it is not a you know uh, people were using since centuries and so because of that and it has become part of our culture that is why but uh, it is one of the cause biggest cause of the disease disability and death all three in spite of putting so much so many labels on the cigarette pack and the bd pack the number of uh, smoker has not gone down not much only the you know small amount just because of maybe i think increasing the cost of the cigarette that is why people are taking less otherwise they are going more on uh you know bds and uh, you know open form or maybe be chewing tobacco again mm-hmm. tobacco chewing is also similar to like uh, any other you know form of uh, tobacco cigarette uh, account to cause cancers cardiovascular diseases you will just name any you know disease which is uh, not there in the uh, you know you you're not labeled to Uh, it has effect on your brain it has effect on your all the you know hormonal system intestine your uh, you know lungs your heart your skin your you know your uh, you know reproductive systems your ability to produce children you know they all affected by this uh, cigarette and tobacco but in spite of and that is because you know it is as soon as you start the tobacco you become addicted to and that is why you are not able to leave it so we have large number of like it is almost 57% uh, we have the national family health survey which shows high number of uh, men and women are uh, using tobacco in the chewing form and mizoram is having as high as 61% now you can imagine that and then we have you know various kind of things to do and various product of the tobacco in in our younger population that is the global youth survey showing india survey which is uh, you know as i as uh, you know 20% so that is quite uh, high number <clears throat> now uh, the problem is that you know uh, our uh, female are also increasing in taking the you know tobacco and both is smoke less and is smoke uh, tobacco both and you have seen this side i uh, it is needless to say we have more than 4000 chemicals coming out from the cigarette i don't know how we are tolerating it is not pal- palatable it is not uh, something you feel great you know in spite of that you are becoming addicted to and uh, you you change your whole life uh, and still you feel proud of something you know so you yourself know that i am killing myself or i am destroying myself in spite of that so this is actually a addiction and one must understand uh, you know the label addiction what does it mean abuse and addiction and dependence now this one is vaping uh, which is now increasing in uh, number 
and the people think that uh, if I use e-cigarette, it is not increasing the chance of cancer because uh, tobacco smoke is not there. And that is smoke uh, give rise to you know uh, infection or or say disease of the lung is not there when you have the smokeless uh, vaping or e-cigarette. But uh, it is already proven that e-cigarette is having similar similar cause of uh, problems as we have the smokes, uh, the cigarettes. Then, uh, yes, uh, there is some difference, but that difference is, uh, you know, it's not much because high, uh, you know, heat you are inhaling and that heat is sufficient to cause a lot of problem. Now, marijuana is uh, illicit drugs worldwide, but in many of the countries, there is controversy, controversial status of this marijuana and because it allows some countries like the Canada and Netherlands, you know, they are allowing uh, marijuana to uh, to be available on, in the market. So because of that, you know, the youngsters are falling prey to and media playing a significant role like that, you know, websites, different websites are there which are showing you that how weed is, weed is you know, uh, 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 interesting and uh, can increase your thinking power and you know make you more imaginatory and all the uh, creative people used to take it something like that you know so you uh, fall prey to it and unfortunately once you become active they you know effect on the brain and if you are a chronic user then your brain is totally you know um, destroyed or rather become very very weak uh, we have the coffee use that is a soda and tea uh, that is a, another you know uh, source of the caffeine for the kids and adults and and if you give high amount of the coffee then it leads to addiction and they have many problems nowadays we are having this uh, energy drinks which has high amount of coffee sometimes they say that zero you know caffeine you know, true Rather, you know, the carbohydrate contained in these drinks are also very high. So nothing in those all things, although they're claiming. So one has to go to the, you know, go and, and sue them. So those processes take long time. That time, you know, by that time they earn so much, so they did, don't care. They are able to, you know, give the compensation also. So uh, what I want to say from this that these are all addictive substances. But dealing with the, you know, youngsters and younger population and adults and it actually require a totally different strategy. And uh, for this, you, you try to understand what is the basic science behind, you know, taking uh, these drugs. That's important for you also. So, uh, I, I'll show you that how it is, uh, you know, creating problem. So, you know, there are risk factors which are leading to occurrence of addiction. So, if these risk factors are there, there are more chances or they are the, you know, making possibility of uh, becoming the addiction or addict. So, one is the genetic. Suppose uh, that genetic makeup which help the person to, because in, you must have seen some people, you know, prone to develop addiction some are not in the same family itself you you find that you know sometimes they uh, two brothers one is a smoker other is not one is alcoholic other is not so some kind of genetic gen genes also play a role <coughs> other is gender the males are more prone as compared to female because it also play environment like the community and community attitude and culture where the you know gender is uh, you know, uh, gender is mixed with the, your masculine power and also to taking up uh, these, you know, alcohol and tobacco is linked with the power, the masculine power. That is why this gender becomes susceptible to addiction. There are mental disorders. Some of uh, some of the person has asked about this mental disorder and, and uh, sexual problem. You know, these are the gender and mental problem which are actually 
making the person susceptible some genes are you know become susceptible and they are more prone to you know have the effect of the drugs and become the addicted much faster as compared to other some are feeling nauseating but the other people are enjoying it so those who are enjoying it are because of their chemical you know in the brain that makes you know easy to become addicted another is the easy use or early use easy use uh, easy availability and early availability like uh, when the person is very young and it is available uh, nearby then the possibility of starting much early is you know there and if the cost is not there much cost is there just in 2 rupees you can buy something or in 50 paisa you can buy something then definitely the children has access of this much amount of money and they start taking uh, some of the you know smoking substance and uh, drugs and this has also been found that if the home environment and his environment of the child is not good like the home is chaotic or abuse is there like the parents are you know also having some kind of use or abuse or, or addicted to some substance then children are also supposed to become susceptible to the peer influence play a very significant role so there it is the part of the environment so the peer and community attitude towards that drug like the smoking is good example where the community accept similarly in some communities the alcohol is accepted similarly in some communities the opium is accepted you know in one of our state like the rajasthan where the use of opium is not taken very serious you know in some tribe they are using it even for a small child so the community attitude towards the drug the poor the peer influence and then poor school environment and achievement they are all actually forcing or making the person or a child to you know uh, develop the habit of uh, addiction so the biology of uh, adolescent is we are calling uh, adolescent is 10 to 19 years but uh, 15 to 25 years the youth so this is from 10 to 25 years they are the people who are known as young and they are the more susceptible to unfortunately you know it is a process of development and that need to be understood by all our you know parents and teacher that the children actually the adults and they are less developed of the frontal lobe the frontal lobe is responsible for judgment so therefore that judgment is lacking and the amygdala or limbic system which is i'll show you they are actually controlling the behavior the behavior a response of impulse like how he is going to uh, you know behave when his impulses are there so that is responsible so if uh, that system is not activated then definitely they are you know uh, uh, not controlling once it is developed then they become very active so these are the frontal parietal and prefrontal cortex temporal and these are the broad you know brain areas but this is the you know in frontal areas we have the frontal lobe and this is the place the base of the you know brain we have the amygdala so when reading emotion the adults rely more on the frontal cortex but teen are relying on amygdala so they work on you know amygdala more often so i'll show by one you know picture here now you can see that as the age is increasing of adults and the red is becoming more prominent like the limbic system or say the amygdala you know maturing faster and that is why he is emotional and reward you know working on reward so he is impulsive in actions but his you know green area is slower so the prefrontal cortex is you know slowly growing so because this gap this person is actually not planning and logical and taking the action so that is actually the responsibility of the brain so when the child is you know behaving in that manner must understand that this is nothing wrong it is actually part of their development and because of this development the problem arises if we don't handle it properly then the problem will arise you can see the red line and then green line 
but we have the you know purple line and a blue line the purple line we have a spike and that the spike is because of this self harm so if the person is emotional and you know so and no logic no plan so he can you know, uh, be impulsive and create a problem to self or he may be impulsive to you know take the action so he may uh, may be very much offended very soon and harm himself that is why the suicide in this area is very very high in younger population similarly the you know substance use is also you know increase in this duration because they are working on the emotions and they they never understand the logic and you know uh, the judgment is very poor then similarly the depression is also gone up so these three things are because of this you know uh, difference in the limbic and and prefrontal cortex in this group uh, slowly there you know the uh, the gray matter is uh, increases so this you can see that you know number of synapses as more complex synapses are there you know we have uh, uh, you know developing many uh, many activities so this is also to be understood that uh, throughout the evolution the person is you know developing he is not developed by his developing you can see that this brain becoming blue and by the age of 20 still he is developing some form of the cortex and some of the processes are going on so they are under process of development so that is why you know they have more chance of you know getting something what is interesting here just you look at it this is uh, the 12 to 17 years the maximum uptake or development of the you know addiction occur in this age group before this and after this the person is very less likely to develop the you know addiction <clears throat> so this this is the period where the start uh, of the addiction is start uh, start of the drugs or substance is started and this is 60s this must be understood so that is why you know this is stays is very crucial for our parents and also our adults and adults and must understand that they have more chances of getting the drugs at this point of time so they have to be very careful when they are dealing with or when they are growing now because of our brain uh, physiology uh, what happened we have a problem with the stress because we are more emotional and we don't uh, think logically therefore you know on very small things on the family issues of in a group or in extra curricular activity or part time or whatever there are a lot of stress going on and this stress is you know uh, many a time it is not uh, you know something very uh, significant but they make it very significant because they are very emotional and this stress in them is very crucial because it affect their sympathetic system and this sympathetic system actually activated and this you know hypothalamic pituitary you know adrenal axis which is there in the body is slow down and because of that they have the high you know heart rate the blood pressure shoots up you know and then pupil dilated then they always have a fight and flight you know kind of uh, body and response that is why they 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 behave in a very erratic manner uh, somebody has asked about the mental disorder yes we have the relationship of mental disorder with you know the drugs if you have a family history of addiction and if somebody or he himself have some mental disorder then uh, there are more ch chances of developing the addiction now one is the comorbid condition of mental illness there are mechanism by which why people feel you know good when they are depressed they want to take some depressant or they uh, when they are they want to uh, like have the examination or say they are anxious then they you know take a certain kind of drugs so uh, there are mental conditions which are helping them to you know take some or other the best example is you know in stress or anxiety you take uh, smoking very you know often and that is why you develop the smoking habit and you know uh, you become the addict to tobacco similarly one person has asked about the sexual abuse and the early physical uh, physical and sexual abuse 
for sexual problems. It has been found that when you have such kind of abuse in the early life, you become, you know, very, very uh, serious and maybe I think you can say depressed. And it has a very uh, long lasting impact on your psyche. And therefore, uh, it creates a negative impact on you and you try to, you know, overcome and then you fall prey to these drugs to overcome, you know, some of the depressant and depression or maybe anxiety, which is there and, and worthlessness, you know, and you all the time, you know, try to uh, justify why this has happened to me. That is why you become, you know, uh, guilty conscious, guilt conscious and then you suffer yourself or you try to damage yourself. That is why you take those substances. So there is a relationship. Similarly, sexual abuse and sexual, you know, uh, abuse is also very serious about it. Now, uh, those people who have witnessed violence in their home, you know, they also uh, try to take, uh, like, it start with the tobacco, smoking. It is the most common way of, you know, uh, relieving yourself. And that is the, you know, or you will take the coffee or maybe you go for some, some medicine. Reason. So it's a you know common behavior of human being in society. When the peer use, then definitely you start using it because he's a good friend. You can always fall back to your your friend, and then if he said you know drug addict or using some kind of substance, then you sometimes sympathize and sometimes you become part of it. So this is the environmental con contributing factor to the addiction. Another one is a religion and culture, which I have all tried about the culture. But the is, um, you know, these children, when they religion also, you know, in some uh, some of the activities there in the community with the youth, when they go to some, you know, uh, in the group peers, and there are more chances of, you know, adopting some of the habits which are, uh, uh, you know, uh, there, uh, which are there in the adult. Uh, and which they copy, and that is why uh, they they fall prey to. I have seen many. That is why I am saying it is nothing, uh, and this has been reported also. Common smoking is directly having relationship with the psychosis, depression, and anxiety and panic attack. Smoking has relationship. Like you know, they they feel relieved when they take smoking. So uh, such kind of behavior is. Uh, because because of their anxiety, you know, or or the kind of uh, uh, the mental pathology is there. That is why they develop uh, smoking much higher. And we have evidence also. Many studies are showing they are more uh, smoking as compared to normal population. Now, next question: What make identification tough? Because uh, sometimes it is very tough if you are very casual. Otherwise, if you are very like you know how to look at them and identify them, then it becomes easy. But why it is becoming tough? Because the fear of stigma. That is why they don't come forward and talk to you. And uh, believe that depression is not treatable, or maybe a psychosis is not treatable, or like somebody become mad, then it is not uh, you know treatable by doctors. Uh, Similarly, like, you know, depression is not a real illness or it's a, just a, a, you know, our personal flow or personal, you know, uh, something pro problem is there with us. That is why there is a depression. Depression can itself be a disease which can occur to anybody. Next is the, you know, concern about confidentiality, you know, which is problem in our country that they always feel, particularly, you know, they feel that if my parents will know that what will happen. And that is why they never disclose to anybody. And they don't want to take any medicine because it's a headache, you know. If you keep it in house, uh, if you are taking some medicine, then everybody will come to know. And these are, you know, all kind of the fear. This is, I will actually label that this is the fear uh, psychosis which is creating this kind of problem. Now this environment like uh, high level of conflict poor parenting practices. I've seen parents are, you know, uh, all the time behind them, never giving any uh, any space to, to think and to have their own life. That is why, you know, they become so stressed. So, 
uh, it is because of many of the parents rather majority do not know how to deal with the child that is why they just uh, have their big ideas of controlling uh, you know their children and leading to problem and uh, the way they supervise is also wrong many time so good level of supervision is also not there on some time it is not there some time you know may not be there at all then uh, harsh disciplinary tactics on the children are creating problem then uh, poor display of the problem solving skills of the parents are leading to a problem and low level of uh, emotional support you know they un don't understand emotionally uh, the how the child is uh, having different problems in different places so how to handle those emotions uh, in empathetic manner which is again a very important one now uh, to to reduce it you know you should have some kind of sharing emotion sharing the flexibility of the rules and good level of satisfaction of all family member they are very important in family to decrease the risk of substance so very simple that you understand what is emotions are you should not have very high harsh uh, rules that that is not a good one now this is also very wrong that you in front of the children you take drugs or maybe i think alcohol or smoking which is uh, very potential uh you know uh, role model leading to problem in our children similarly the peers which are very very strong uh, source of the drug uh, to the children now uh, a school are another area where if uh, they are not properly handled uh, if they don't have programs or if the you know there is no expectation or there is no you know steam in them created in school if the school health program is not running then you have more chances that children are getting you know different kinds of habit bullying is another issue which is has been associated with the substance abuse you can see that bullying is similar to like physical mental and sexual abuse so person become vulnerable he become impulsive and then in impulse he develop or he take some substance and leading to substance abuse so that is a you know a proper method by which the person become addicted now this uh, this slide i want everybody take a few minutes because this is very very crucial now the person like the child in spite of uh, the taste of the smoke and the taste of the alcohol is very bitter everybody knows it in spite of that why the child you know take it why the adults and are taking it you know this is the uh, natural history of the drug abuse when the first he take there is always a good effect of that drug whether it is a bitter in taste but first time when you take and that is the effect of a drug which is actually creating good effect and that is creating a positive reinforcement of it on the child or a youth to take again and again and again and what happened then when you take again and again there is a harmful use you in start increasing the dose you know and you try to get a similar kind of kick similar kind of effect which you have seen or which you have feel felt first time second time or third time something like that and you keep increasing and then same effect is not coming then you become you know tolerant and in spite of taking one full bottle the same effect is not coming when you used to come in one pack so then you realize that something is wrong i should leave it you know there is no point but then you cannot leave. that becomes a negative reinforcement and it is because of withdrawal symptoms and the withdrawal symptoms are very very serious in nature anybody who has seen the withdrawal symptom they are you know creating a uh, tear in your eyes and you know uh, feeling very lonely and uh, lost and sleep is not there and you are feeling totally you know like your body is aching and uh, not comfortable at all and uh, it goes in 2 3 days continuously so anybody who has withdrawal symptom must be knowing that just after one day you start feeling craving to you know and then uh, you immediately go back and take the drugs and take the same thing this happened for the tobacco within a week time 
alcohol take months together you know there is no effect of alcohol you take the drugs but in case of the cocaine and other drugs in a, even one dose big dose can give rise to that addiction so that is very you know some drugs are so you know uh, uh, dependent or say addiction causing so that after it with then the person become you know dependent and then there will be a complication and leading to death so the death and complication in these people who are drug addict or who are alcoholic and smokers are very you know likely to have earlier death as compared to others there is much you know you decrease at, at least you know 15 years 20 years of your life much early therefore it is better to have a routine medical care you know routine check up and that is good when you have a good school health program you know regularly if you have a check up you understand that you know what is the body level of different parameters and telling the every child not to afraid of asking questions so the person has many hesitation in in him because the confidentiality is not there. i have already uh, given you that is why allow the person to ask question educate self you know yourself on the common sign and of the and that is why in this group if the children are there very good you know if the adult center and school uh, school children are watching it i think it's very good they know what is reality and once they know that you know the natural history of disease that that way they actually uh, uh, you know control themselves and uh, decrease their risk and also un understanding about the various life we have uh, given the in school health program in in uh, bangalore you know we have number of life skill sessions not only to the children but also to the school teacher and we can have for the parents also for this then uh, you know remember why they are not able to quit the problem is mental and uh, physical craving and this craving is leading to so i am telling you that withdrawal problem are there but withdrawal can also be uh, you know recovered in the last slide i have shown you that is at this stage still the person can recover so from this don't afraid of withdrawal because you can definitely handle it but once you become dependent then it's difficult when the complication is started then become dif difficult so if become biologically personality or way of thinking become of that kind then it is difficult to you know quit the things so before that you can always you know but all the addict or all the people uh, actually it should be taken as like chronic illness like we have the diabetes we have the hypertension similar to that we we have the smokers and the alcoholics and drug addicts they are our chronic illnesses you know and because they are of uh, you know similar kind of natures of their illness because again and again you try to give the drugs or say the medicine they are not you know getting improvement but they are not getting rid of that you know uh, chronic illness so this drug addiction is actually chronic mm -hmm. illness because of the relapse and relapse is similar to like hypertension diabetes asthma throughout life they continue to have because the drug addict is you know real uh, relapse rate is similar to like any uh, you know diabetes hypertension so we need to treat the whole person so that is why a comprehensive program is required so when you are going to a doctor look at it that he is looking after your medication your behavior therapy your social services your other issues of the uh, treatment this is the science if you see in other person you can always see that maybe i think he is a drug or substance uh, he is taking substance or drug addict one is a you know blood shot eyes his eyes are red he is a very thin person you know suddenly he become very thin so uh, one of the reason could be using drugs he becomes uh, deteriorated in personal hygiene so that is also one reason although mental disorders are also leading to such kind of behavior but we don't have you know blood uh, short eyes the red eyes tremors and slurring of his speech is very very important uh, indicator you know look at your child if he is slurring uh, then definitely is under influence of some drug these are physical symptoms uh, signs 
the behavioral symptom signs are increased withdrawal from other like he is not involving in other he is not enjoying the company of other he is you know loss of the interest in activities previously he used to go he used to do he used to feel that is suddenly you know uh, mm -hmm. stop or his friendship he changed he has changed the number of friends which are actually previously were there but now new friends has come up so the sudden change of the friends is a big example of the you know substance abuse or change of the school or work performance is also an indicator like suddenly his, his performance has gone down remember one symptom should not be taken individually should be taken together so the multiple uh, sign would be there and explaining unexplained need of for memory his memory is not good psychological symptoms like he is always in the anxiety or a fear or paranoid without any reason or suddenly moon swings would be there he become very outburst or maybe sometime start crying or there is no motivation in life so these are the psychological symptoms so you can have the physical behavioral and psychological symptoms which is telling you that the youth and adolescent is actually having some substance now these are the recognizing recognizing the problem t uh, drugs that is have you ever smoked uh, if you ask few question it will going to tell you that yes or are you currently smoking when was the last you smoked do you have friends who use or have you ever tried these are the question you know give you some uh, a clue that these are the uh, techniques i request uh, my student to develop remember uh, refusal techniques are very important particularly because he is in influence with the peers or the friends or maybe in school or maybe some senior person or maybe some strange person so uh, this is part of our uh, technique that is the uh, life skills technique saying no so the good communication the refusal technique is very very important so the good communication every child should develop like you know say no thank you you know and you can develop different techniques to say no like some example are given no thank you you know i'm sorry gives an excuse or broken record you know you say that okay uh, uh, like somebody say no no uh, you have never refused but uh, why you are doing this you can say i can broke the record not a problem walk away of the situation change the subject the strength uh, in number yeah, you group with the people who are you know good in in, in the name the state of you know health problem like say i have a bad feeling or i i have a stomach pain i am going so you can refuse you can go away uh, so these are different techniques by which you can go away from your friends so your focus has to be abstinence like you should not take remember if you don't take for one week you are away from the drugs so don't worry you can always you know uh, leave that drug if you have self determination and decide that definitely the family work and community has to work with you to help you to make you abstinence from the drugs you know although full recovery is a very challenging task for all doctors and all social worker but it is possible the one example is that this is actually recovery with long abstinence from meth amphetamine amphetamine is a stimulant drug you know and uh, the student use during the time of examination you can see that this is the control and this is you know one month detoxification that is a, a change has occurred and after uh, 24 months like one year you are reaching to similar to normal so that is showing that after a long period of abstinence you definitely you know uh, change your behavior now uh, behavior change actually is a difficult task but these are the steps by which one can so first uh, if you don't think yes i want to change my behavior i want to stop yes this is very important step if you want to say yes this is the beginning of you know uh, change of your behavior and determination preparedness action you know maintenance and termination these are all very important steps so wherever you start uh, i think you can definitely change and the and and the is very important for us and the things that uh, there are steps it is not that uh, overnight the child will uh, will 
will stop using it. it it is not possible so you try slowly and change the behavior slowly now this is my last slide I want to say that we have 10 life skills and they are very cr crucial every child should develop even the parent should develop this critical thinking you know creative thinking problem solving decision making communication skills then interpersonal relationships coping with the stress managing with feeling and emotions self awareness and empathy even self awareness is, itself can give rise to lot of confidence people should know who they are you know and the dealing with the emotions are also very important how you have to cope with the stress and emotions so if uh, parents know if the teacher know the way the interpersonal relationship has to be maintained and how we can with this kind of relationship you know uh, can can uh, help the child then definitely this will help so this is important for self and others that is why i always emphasize on 10 life skills to all students and also to our parents so <clears throat> these are my resources and thank you very much for listening now uh, it's open for question if uh, anybody want to ask any question uh, i am available thank you thank you very much sir for giving your uh, wonderful uh, um, talk on uh, drug abuse or uh, drug addiction especially focusing on children and ad adolescents i totally agree with you family environment plays a major role and community and peer group also plays a major role uh, in the life of adolescents uh, i by this note uh, i thank you very i thanks i i request uh, now dr maltesh Uh, to take over the question and Q and A session, and I think we have got couple of questions uh, from the audience. Um, I request Dr. Malte, sir, please go ahead. Yes, sir. Thank you for that. Uh, I request Dr. Jugal Kishore, sir, to answer a few questions which have been sent by either parents or adolescents themselves, sir. Uh, shall we? Shall we begin with the questions, sir? Yes, yes. Yeah, the first question asked is, uh, why only adolescents are addicted to drugs? If you remember my one of the slides showing uh, the highest tall, you know, picture of a adolescent in age group of twelve to seventeen years, uh, that is the age where they are, you know, uh, taking up the drugs, and after that, and this is I showed you because of the uh, change in the mind or change in the in the brain. we have the uh, prefrontal cortex and frontal cortex and amygdala that is the base of the you know uh, our brain uh, where the uh, our limbic system is there so limbic system you know uh, become activated more so they are more prone to take uh, impulsive decision and they are you know more taking on emotions that is why take up more and it is wrong to say that only the adults and develop the you know drug addiction or say drugs but that is the stage where they take up the drugs they because they want to experiment they want to take the challenge and all these are, are very important uh, you know uh, behavior of the of the adults and, and that is why uh, they appear to be having high but, but this is not true this is not true that only adults and majority of these adults and will continue to take you know drugs in their adult life you know i have not shown that slide that how many will develop you know continue to have the alcohol and smoking in later life you know some will leave but majority will not leave and other drugs like uh, other we have uh, shown many other so i think i have answered this question yes sir thank yes, you for yes, that elaborate uh, one uh, we will move on to the next question what are the central government's initiative or available facilities which the public health professional can utilize in prevention and treatment of drug addiction yeah uh, all the medical colleges whether it is a private and a government medical college which he has said the central government or a government uh, initiative what are there so according to the central government and medical council of india we should have one psychiatry department in med all medical colleges so it is mandatory now to have the medical uh, you know one a department of psychiatry in each medical college and the training of all doctors in medical uh, this psychiatric problems and psychiatric problem the drug addiction and drugs are one of the major 
you know, our area. So, uh, all public health professional can contact the psychiatric department to get the help of all the drug addiction problem in their area. If suppose somebody is having some problem, uh, they can definitely talk and can have the licensing and how to treat uh, any child or youth. Uh, in majority of the time, actually, we require, uh, you know, uh, admission in the ward or admission in the hospital. And many of the places, the psychiatry department do not have very good facility for admission. That I accept. In those cases, you know, the private facility can be utilized if you have money. If you, if you don't have money, then definitely you have to work with whatever the government facility is available. But the, all psychiatrists are, you know, sufficient to manage. But some are very professional in, in managing the drug addiction. And some are very, very much highly specialized professional like the Nimhans. Fortunately, Bangalore has the Nimhans, which is highly professional in, you know, dealing with the drug addiction. So all public health professional can contact, you know, uh, the Nimhans. Thank you, sir. Hope parents and adolescents will note this point. You can contact any of the medical colleges. In case you don't find medical colleges, you can approach the district hospitals. They will guide you with psychiatrists and counselors. Thank you, sir. And there is another question for you. How sexual disharmony and drug addiction complicates each other and approach advice to deal with it? Yeah, I have tried to, you know, put up uh, this uh, question when I was talking about physical abuse and sexual abuse and try to give uh, some insight to it. Actually, sexual disharmony, may like uh, if you have uh, this uh, harmony in the relationship with the family, uh, like the husband and wife or say in your uh, girlfriend or maybe the boyfriend, if you have some sexual disharmony in them, then you feel so dejected and you feel that I don't have, uh, you know, uh, I don't have life or say. So it's a kind of uh, dejection and guilt feeling and uh, then you trap into depression. And once you become, you know, part of that uh, psychology, then you try to, you know, uh, cover up that depression and anxiety by taking some medicine or some kind of, you know, drug. And that if you take the antidepressant drug or maybe anti-anxiety drug or maybe alcohol or smoking then you become trapped to that drug you know this is the relationship in in you know all kinds of such kind of behavior so uh, whether it is a sexual disharmony or it's a interpersonal relationship or maybe i think professional uh, you know disharmony we are not able to achieve in life so that time you start, you know, falling prey to such kind of drug. That is the relationship of, uh, you know, addiction and uh, disharmony with any any kind. And sexually is one of that. Okay. Uh, okay. Thank right. you for that. Hope uh, parents and adolescents are okay. Over to Gurraj. Yeah. I think yeah. we got one more question, uh, Dr. Jugal Kishore sir. Uh, how, how can we keep eye on children? refrain from drug so how do you uh, make sure that children are not attracted towards drug yeah actually keep uh, having good relationship with the children are is the first step okay uh, the child should be able to tell you everything you know whatever come in the mind if able to discuss with mother or father both and the mother father have the good understanding of the parenting good parenting you should act like a parent and also friend. So that is actually in our country is very poor. You know, we are always detecting, you know, looking a big boss type, you know, uh, our parents are because we have learned from our and now uh, many uh, number of the family member like the two, three brother and sisters, something like that, the bigger. So to have the discussion and so you are able to discuss with, with either, you know, older time. We had the many, uh, many and all that, the only one child and two child are there and the interaction with the other are very less. So the parents has to take up that role of friends, of the peer, of everybody. So um, 
if you talk to them then many questi come uh, in in them that will send try to you know understand what is the effect of this what is the you know uh, effect of this drug or that drugs or you know not causing death that's a problem you have suicides only <coughs> other death is not there it is actually dis disability causing problem the mental disorders are usually causing disability and not actually focus more on death you know our programs focuses on death and if the death is not that they don't give value that's a problem with our country so but uh, if the people are very educated people understand then i think uh, you you can demand it to the uh, to the you know state and to to the central government it should be uh, part of the manifesto the election manifesto that they are going to have the school health program they are going to look after the mental health of the people they are going to look after the mental disorder uh, mental retarded children you know rehabilitation of mental dis uh, rehabilitation of the mental retarded children so if you uh, you know have demand then only the manifesto will have and when the election manifesto will have then definitely it will be the part of the policy and everything so if we educate that is the you know advocacy our this association job should be the advocacy uh, of such kind of pro programs such kind of you know issues uh, which should be enforce the government to take up so uh, the best part is that you have the technology uh, which can handle many of the problems like you know drug addictions and all that so uh, if technology is available if professional uh, uh, know how is available why not should use it you know the counseling techniques are there so if you just uh, look at uh, nimhans they have developed many uh, different methods and techniques and and educational material they should be made available to all the schools and uh, in a school we should focus on at least one hour in a week or maybe 10 days we can have one hour on life skills we can discuss about alcohol we can discuss about you know smoking openly okay what are the effects what are the issues and any question come in their mind we can so the i just uh, uh, trying to say that uh, if the central government is said government does not have any program doesn't matter we can take up uh, you know those all things for the benefit of the children and also the our, you know uh, community but yes we have the national program we have the act also mental health act is there we have the de addiction program also so de addiction program is actually done by our social welfare department and mental health program for the ministry of health uh, but state can have their own programs it depends on the level of their you know uh, development okay thank you sir so <laughs> to the audience uh to so i think we uh, you can make a note nimans runs a program called yuva spandana so those schools or uh, uh, inter interested schools or interested co interested colleges can contact yuva spandana pro uh, coordinator uh, dr pradeep who runs this program so if you have to if you want to have participate in this program please write to us for ih karnataka chapter Uh, we leave our email IDs. You can contact us. In case schools want to uh, have any kind of work, life skill programs, you can also reach out to IH uh, chapters, Karnataka chapter. Uh, if you can reach to IH uh, our governing body, Delhi. So we can be uh, we can assist you uh, in terms of having mental health programs in your schools and colleges. Uh, by this, uh, uh, I would like to take opportunity to uh, to thank uh, Dr. Jugal Kishore Ji, who is also general secretary of our IH uh, uh, main chapter. and 